Handy Abby here. Today we are going to be installing this pool. Um, so I bought some knobs from Anthropology. Needless to say, if you see here, this one has broken off here. Uh, I could try to maybe cement it again and install it, install it, but this one also broke. Um, I just ended up screwing it back on because it kind of just, so the, needless to say, the manufacturing of these knobs weren't too great, all right? So what I ended up doing was um, just getting some pulls, um, some new pulls that I bought from Amazon. Um, there's also another site I like to frequent for um, knobs and pulls, which is called coolknobsandpools.com. So check them out as well. Uh, they have a huge selection, but I couldn't find the size that I needed there. So I just went on ahead to the good old A to the Z. And I got um, these, the pools here. Um, the width, so this is an Ikea uh, vanity uh, that I actually sanded down and stained. And because, you know, we have to DIY and make things the way uh, we want them. So it's the actual pine vanity that I um, sanded down and I stained uh, with some stain and I applied about three coats of poly because um, you know it's just right here with the sink inks. So I got some black pools to kind of match my mat. Um, if you can see um, Fixie Nixie over here on the stand again. Say hey. So I got um, some matte black pools to match um, the faucets, the new faucets. And so we're going to be installing the second one here, okay, <laughs> today. So what we first step we want to do, I have a few items in there, but that's okay. First step, we want to uninstall these other um, knobs. And so... You see these have the screw here, so it has a washer and um, a nut. So we just have to uninstall that. So I have my wrench here, okay? So I'll just be loosening up. And it's not too hard. I mean, it just needs one good One good twist there, and I'm able to pull this off. So, um, pull off the broken knob screw there. And let's see what came in our packaging, actually. Um, so, we got the pull. Yeah. And it also came with a couple screws. So they only included two. So if you lose one, you'll be making a trip to Home Depot or Lowe's or your local hardware store um, to get a new one. So be careful of that. I have lost some in the past. Let me just set that up there. Or they've broken because sometimes when you buy these knobs or pools, they give you, um, they kind of give you some cheap screws because sometimes um, they give you ones that measure a variety of lengths so you can just cut them down to the size you need, which makes them a little, you know, um, I'd say, if I, I can't get this up. Ah! Yes, mommy got it. Uh, so here we go. Came with a couple screws here. Okay, that's what we're going to use to install. Let me just get this last. Knob off. And the baby is working against me and pushing the drawer closed. 
this one out so we got this one out and we have the nut I just like to put things back together just so we don't lose them which I didn't do with the other one so let me do that very quickly all right so all the four knobs are there and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open our pack here with these screws that came with them tools that I bought off of Amazon. It was, um, if I just give you a closer look, uh, Cosmos flat black. And I believe it was, um, the length was 12 and five eighths, um, length from this hole to this hole for the actual vanity. So it's, um, a standard length, um, but you know, it's not always readily available in, in different areas. So now I'm gonna install this one. So like I said, this is an Ikea vanity. I forgot the exact name, but um, I'll post it once I post the video. So very easy. Um, you can do this by hand, but uh, also, I mean, I just have my drill and I'm gonna light do it very lightly. You don't want to eat into um the hole with the screw or anything like that and so one of the things that also prevents that is using a washer so this um pool that didn't come with any washers or anything but i'm going to just use the same washer from what i had with the knobs to install the pool and what i'll do at first is i'll just put this on here okay and I'll, she's trying to help me brush my teeth, so this is my electric toothbrush. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do again is just hand tighten at first the screw. So this one goes the opposite way, those knobs I pulled off the screw, if you see right here, it's actually coming through this end. I'll just hand tighten that there. And then I'll do the same thing with the other end with this screw. You see it's coming through there and tighten that and then i'll just get my drill and it's a uh, the phillips tip there it's already in there and very easily i'm just going to like i said i don't want to over tighten it i don't want to eat into my the wood there if you need to tighten a little bit more you can always do it your drill or just with the actual screwdriver by hand. Phillips head. And voila. So we have our new pools installed. I'm excited. I think one of the other things that excites me about this is that I can get a towel, hand towel, and I can, you know, kind of just fold it over this. And so when you wash your hands or after you brush your teeth and want to wipe your mouth, you can just very easily, you know, dry them off here, touch your mouth or whatnot. So that's kind of the cool thing about having these pools is it's a dual purpose. Um, and yeah, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, the screws actually fit perfectly, so I didn't have to go back and um cut them or measure or buy any other ones from the store so this these ones will fit perfect if you have the same vanity um from ikea um the the width of the wood and the screws it work perfectly so um i'm excited to put these in action so it's handy ambi and dixie nixie signing out and we will see you in our next video don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my other videos um, for any of your handy hacks, handy MB hacks, or any other tutorials. See you soon.